Jackie Kennedy. I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator at the Brownsville Partnership. Hi, I'm Lisa Chowdhury. I'm the Health Coordinator at the Brownsville Partnership. So we are really excited to um, head to San Francisco and present out on our work um, at the American Public Health Association Conference. Um, we're going to be presenting out on our work here in Brownsville, um, which really stemmed from a single house meeting that we had, um, I would say almost like, what, a year, a year and a half, half ago? ago yeah. So I had started out as the health coordinator here, and I was tasked with increasing um, walking and biking and healthy eating here in Brownsville. Um, and we just had a house meeting to talk yeah. about it. So yeah, I was still an intern on my way to being outreach coordinator, and we had our first uh, coffee clutch about healthy living, increasing walkability and bikeability, and the constant conversation that came from all of the mm -hmm. residents were, I, I cannot walk down this path or down this road because it's too dark, I feel unsafe, there's not enough lighting on this block or this park is just unsafe. I can't, I choose not to walk over mm -hmm. there. I choose not to, to bike mm -hmm. because, you know, there's no bike lanes or I don't feel safe biking on this specific block mm -hmm. in this area. So the constant conversation was, mm -hmm. I can't do X because I can't do some kind of healthy activity because I feel unsafe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at the research, it actually does show that there's a strong correlation between high crime areas and high incidence of chronic diseases. Um, but this was really on the ground. We saw it firsthand. Um, and it was at that moment that we really realized that we needed to integrate our violence prevention work with our chronic disease prevention work. Um, so we started doing that. I mean, yeah. um, some really great examples of the work that we've been doing on that um, is the youth market. It is a partnership with Grow NYC, and it is a youth-run farm stand on specific corners in, Brown, in Brownsville. Um, and yes, it's a space for healthy eating. Um, we provide uh, farm fresh produce, um, but we specifically choose corners that need to be activated, corners that uh, may not necessarily be the safest corners. And by actually having the markets there with programming like music performances or health screening, food demos, mm -hmm. things of that nature, you bring attention to the corner. So you not only make a physical presence, a positive physical presence, but you also draw attention. So we have, you know, the attention of the residents, but we also have the attention of the 73rd Precinct to, you know, pay attention to that corner, be a little more mm -hmm. engaged in what's happening. So mm -hmm. that's one huge example, and that's mm -hmm. been happening for about three years and has recently yeah. expanded. Yeah. Um, another great example is our walking groups. Um, it actually is a senior walking group that will walk around the neighborhood, take specific parks, and essentially take them back. Um, so they will have walking relays in the park. They will have, um, you know, a dance off or the electric slide or things like that. Um, and the idea is that they really go through parks and they walk in parks that people would not necessarily want to be walking through. Um, and so there's the piece of walking, the actual physical, physical activity, but then there's also the piece of having more people there and people seeing other people there. And, and reclaiming the space. Mm -hmm. Reclaiming the space. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're essentially, yeah. we've, we've understood that in order to, to um, reduce health disparities that you have to, you know, not only create safe spaces, but you have to create healthy places. By creating healthy places, you thus create health, uh, safe spaces. Uh, yeah. So it kind of goes back and forth and, and mm -hmm. reduces health disparities in Brownsville. So it's a win-win situation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.